This is Falcon. It has one air intake. It has one or two afterburners, depending on what you like. Two tail fins. Um, rear wings, front wings, and two missile, missile racks to attach your missile of choice. Uh, this plane was designed by Jason Merrill. And I have to make that clear because it's very frowned upon to not. This plane was designed by Jason Merrill. And this plane was designed by Jason Merrill. And so let's get started. So to fold Falcon, we're going to start off with a Falcon base. So do these folds. It's recommended, but not required. Just turn it over and fold in half. And just like that, I'm going to squash fold this. Hold up. And now you're going to squash fold this fold. Or flat. But you're going to squash fold this flat. You're going to make sure it hits exactly on the other side. Like you can kind of see where it is right there. You can kind of see through both of the layers on the other side. So you want to aim for that. And you're going to fold this big flap up as far as it can go without tearing. Because when it tears, it's bad. And I don't want that. You don't want that. No one wants it. I go flick it, <laughs> flip it over. Just making sure all my creases are good. And flip it over, or not flip it, um, it's gonna fold that. to make sure it hits this point that is where you want it to go. Now you're going to now you're going to fold it here. You're gonna I recommend that you unfold it and then refold it. And fold it behind. And in. I'm going to open this up, make sure that everything here
We're going to do that on this side. Open this up and crease that really well. We'll crease that back down. Now you're going to open up this, pull it up, and flatten it. And now you're going to squash fold that. And now you're going to pedal fold this. I'm going to actually inside pedal fold it just by going like that. And just kind of like pinching it on and so it in between the two uh, points that I have used. And now what you are going to do is going to fold this flap up and on this side too. this here just like that and you're going to do that right here too now you can kind of like do that to make sure that it Actually, I don't think it matters too much as long as you fix it later. But yeah, it should be like this one where it kind of hits the point. That's what you want. And now we are going to unfold this, swivel it out. It's just a faster way of doing what I did in Ripper. And you're gonna do what I've done in Rippers, where I, Falcon is actually where I got most of what to do in Ripper. It just, I thought that I could make like a really easy plane, so that's why I made Ripper. But yeah, so after that useless information, um, what you are going to do, hold on one second, this is being, Annoying. Okay. There. Now, finally, now we're going to pull out all of this trapped paper. Now is where you would fix it if it wasn't right before. It's fixed now. Now you're going to do that on this side too.
Okay. Now, here comes a slightly more difficult step, but if you've made all the plans on my channel, you'll make uh, you'll make this. This is an easy step because it's on a few of my planes. So now you're going to flip this over, open this up, and then you're going to just this layer. You're not gonna flip up this layer too. You're just gonna do this one, just just this one. So you're going to fold this in. I'm gonna reverse some creases here. I'm going to fold that in and fold that as if it's a straight line because it is a straight line. So or what you could do is you could just kind of go like that and then just kind of swivel fold that down. That also works really well. There. Now you're gonna just do that on this side too. Okay, and now that. Now what you're going to do is you're going to take this out and swivel it up, like swivel this flap up while swiveling that over. It's kind of like that. And then you're going to fold it down like this and it should these two points should connect but I don't know why they're not for me but that's what they should do so just like that and then you're going to flip it over swivel fold this down and then you're going to fold this edge up just like that And then you're going to make this edge, this edge right here, parallel to the body. Then you're going to just, I'm just gonna tuck it in. Just like that. And now, what you are going to do is you're going to fold this layer up, up like that, so that this edge right here is parallel to the center. And it also should hit this point right here. And then you're going to swivel this down. And 
And then you're going to put that on the other side. Just like that. Now, you're going to do that on this side too. There we go. Remember. Oh, I forgot to tuck this in. Uh, I'm doing it at the the level above, like like underneath the first layer is what I'm doing. Uh, you can do a uh, first or second layer. I'm doing first. But now, what's next is this, holding this up. And folding this down. Okay, well, uh, that took way too long, but yeah, that's that, um, so now just go like that, that you should have that, and now what you're going to do next is you're going to fold these up, and then fold these out. back down again. It should also hit that right there.
and fold this so that it's right along this small edge right there. Then you're gonna do that crease from, from this crease all the way up. Okay, just like that. And now you are going to inside reverse fold all of those folds. So this first Then this, and now you're going to inside reverse fold this one. I'm gonna do this one so that that is the thin. And now you're going to Fold this down and then back up again. But this time you're gonna do it like this. You're gonna wanna land this edge right along that edge. Then as you can see, if you did it right, this edge right here, this point, should have landed on your fin. It should have landed on the fin. And then you go, that is your, that is your uh, way of knowing if you did it right. But now you're going to squash fold this flap right here. And then you're going to fold this flap down. What you should do is you should kind of like slide that if it's not perfect, which is what I did. Uh, yeah. And so. Now what you're going to do is you're going to fold it like this. You're not going to undo that, but you're just going to kind of open this up, fold as far as it will go without like doing a spread squash because that is unneedingly complicated. And I'm just going to fold it in just like that to make a small afterburner. And then you're going to do that on this side too. fold along this bottom edge there we go that should have that should be better
now just inside reverse fold. You're just going to squash fold this down. And then fold this down. And then you can just kind of slide the top layer just slightly so that it can be more perfect because I like it when it's perfect. Everyone likes it when it's perfect. Yeah. And now I'm going to do the thing that I did earlier folding the afterburner. Afterburner, afterburners, whichever one you prefer. Preferably multiple afterburners. Because that's just easier. And, it's, and it slides, um, not slides, but it um, doesn't, it's just, uh, it's easier to keep that way. Because two afterburners will just, you know, that's what it um, So yeah, you're going to fold from the center of this pedal fold to back here. Now we're just going to jet fold. Oh, it isn't symmetrical. Okay. Doesn't matter too much. And now we're you are going. Oh, I forgot to form the missile racks. So when you're here, you're going to going to fold from this point right here to this nook right there and it should be parallel to the fuselage so you can fold it over just like that Yeah, that's, that's completed missile rack. I'm just gonna do that on this side too.
Now you can continue the jet fold. And fold this flap up into fourths. But make sure it doesn't tear right there because that is a important part. You really don't want that to tear. You're going to fold it almost to the top. Leave a little bit of room to so that the fourths can have enough room to be a thicker layer of paper. But yeah, you're just going to fold it and roll it up just like that. Yeah. Now you're going to fold everything up. And you're almost done. Just going to space out these fins. And if you want to, what you can do is you can take one of these flaps and then kind of, you can open up these flaps to form one afterburner. But I don't really like it because it's sometimes it's not very reliable when if you want the layers to stay in place. So what I do is I do two afterburners. So I just put them back where they were and then form them as they are because they are perfect as they are. Yeah, just like that. And now for the air intake. Uh, if you were, if you made this like me and you forgot to set yourself a reference, then what you should do is you should just tuck the smaller layer underneath the bigger layer. Just like that. And just crease where you like it. And you can kind of round it more however you want it to be. But yeah, that is the air intake. And yeah, and to put a missile in, you just open up these layers and then you take a missile, well, such as maybe the hunter missile, and just put the tabs into where they go and then close it up. It's that simple. So, yeah, that's the plan. 